Oh my god, is that a pimple? Is that a pimple? What? <sighs> Four o'clock in the morning right now. He actually changed my seat, so I had an aisle seat and then I got to choose a window seat. I'm sorry if I'm looking around, I'm just watching my surroundings. Am I gonna talk too much? I'll just see you guys once I get on the plane. I'm I always have a pimple day, come now. Mm -mm. It's hot, I'm sweating my hair. the shuttle to come and get me i'm walking away from my back and the race is on wow not even what they're saying per se it's more of the looks this is what you guys do over here i asked somebody have you ever been to this airport clearly you have been no i have not like what i think i found my way back Shuttle. It is freezing. It is 19 degrees here. Like what? Going to the hotel, but wow, wow, wow. Okay, so I had a few bad encounters with a few people, but I had some good encounters with some good people. Wow, it is huge. Just want to jump right straight into it. First impression of the bed. It is flat here. Like when I was coming in from the plane. It looks super flat. It has a lot of like land for them to develop. And sorry if it's shaking and shuttle is like up and down. It is freezing cold, which I am shocked because I thought it never got cold here. Comment down below, let me know. But I could have sworn Texas next to Florida and California or one of those states that just never got cold. I can see my my breath. Hotel. It's a mixture of people, but of course I'm seeing more than, you know. Some of them are really nice, like really nice. I will check in with you guys when I get to the hotel. <laughs> A lot of people just didn't want to help me out. Like, it was a lot of people that didn't want to help me out. Granted, after that, I had a better experience. I asked them, hey, um, are you from here? Yeah. Have you been to this airport before? Yeah. Do you know how to get to the main entrance? Nope. Like, you live here, you're from here. You know how to get to the main entrance. It's the south, but it's lacking southern hospitality, which is like crazy to me excuse my hand i'm looking crazy right now virginia has more southern hospitality than here then when i got onto the shuttle to come over here to the um hotel room which by the way they were so kind enough to give me breakfast they gave me some orange juice bowl of fruit zooming on the fruit la fruta and i'm starving so that was really sweet of them my interview isn't until tomorrow morning at 9 a.m so, I'm just going to chill here. The hotel is nice. It has an indoor heated pool, which I will be going in. I forgot to bring a bat suit, but I'm going to try. I'm eating with my hands. This is disgusting. Sorry. I really want to go to the zoo. Although I hate zoos, but I love animals. They have more exotic animals than they do in Virginia here. But, I don't know. Things are so spread out so far out here. A Uber 
is like a whole trip in itself so i don't know but that's the update i'm looking crusty i'm gonna go get myself together we'll be back to film as much as I wanted to but I'm walking to my gates to go home plane doesn't leave till 7 I tried to get a change and as soon as I got to the ticket counter they told me that the doors to the plane had closed that very minute but I have some exciting news and when I get a chance to sit down I will tell you guys all about it okay okay I'll be back <laughs> Okay guys, uh, I got my CJ. Oh, I did, I did, I did, I got it. Right off the bat, you come in, I, I am drawing a blank. Today has been a long day. And then there's like an area where you would chit chat with other people and stuff like that. And then after that, go into this training area. They whisk you away and then you sit around a table. They ask you questions. I had to randomly choose a question. Now the first question I cannot remember. When I say my mind went blank, but the second question I do remember. Yeah. And uh, when I answered that, when I say faces lit up, the one before that was um crap. I can't even remember, but I know I answered it well soon. Um, and then after that, the we had to do a group activity. We worked together well. Got handed a specific card of what to do, what not to do. See how many how many times I tried to put my hand in it. I can't touch anything. I can't help build anything. So using your imagination, that means that you are left to what lead by talking. So I decided to do that. Hey, I think you guys should do this. So, you know, I, I was just thinking like that. Calling, calling out things to do, stuff like that. So after that, I guess they saw it worked really well. And they went and deliberated who they wanted to have a final interview with. And they started calling us one by one. I think I was like the fifth person called out of the room. Sixth, maybe sixth person. And they said, we're here for us, Sasha. And they said, Ooh. They were like, gather all your things. I said, gather all my things. Because usually when you hear that, you think like it's the end. So I went and I gathered all my stuff. And as soon as I walked out, they called me into a room, sat down and had a one-on-one -on -one interview. And the first thing she asked me was, um, she was talking super, super fast. And I don't know if that was a test to see if I could listen and respond quickly. But she asked me, why do I want to be a flight attendant with her? And I, and I gave her an answer. I have been searching for my home in the workplace for so long and a lot of people kept telling me to give up on that dream and I'm happy I didn't. So all the muckers that told me to give up on that dream, you know what? People would say, oh, there's no home in work. Work is work. You just there to work. Just go to work and, and do your job. And even if you hate it, everyone hates their job. But I don't want to be everybody else. I am different. I've known I've been different for since I was a jit, like I knew. But that's just not going to work for me. I'm a unique soul. I can't do what everybody else does. I, you may be able to not be happy at work, but I can't do that. I cannot not be happy at work because I realize it's a requirement for me to be happy in order to work, or I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to leave the job, like so serious. If I'm not happy, I'm not going to be there because we have to be at work so, so long in the day. If I'm not happy, you must be joking, no. No, 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 no. I know I do my best work when I love it, and I can't get to my true self if I don't get to do that. I am just so happy that I stay true to myself, and anyone out there, advice taken away from all of this, stay true to yourself. You know what's best for you. Don't listen to what anyone has to say. And I genuinely mean that. Not your parents, not your boyfriend, not your husband, nobody. If they say, oh, stay at this job two more years and then move up, no. Why, why would you stay for two years, why? when there's so many jobs out there that you could be happy at. Yeah, you may take a pay cut, 
yeah you may get a pay raise but at the end of the day if you follow your heart it will always guide you when i tell you i've been going some trial and tribulations these past this past couple of years this didn't happen overnight earlier i got so many notes from so many many other airlines smaller airlines than this one but today was the day. Today was the right day. God guided my tongue to say the exact thing I was supposed to say. Everything was on point today. I was on point today, okay? I did not miss a mark. I did not miss a beat. I did not miss a question. I answered everything right. I answered everything correctly. And I showed confidence. And I showed sincerity and gentleness and caringness and down to earth. I'm just so proud of myself. You know me, I don't like talking your head off, but I talked your head off. That completes this video. Guys, my training starts in April. I cannot wait till training. I just got hired with the world's largest airline. Did you just hear me? I don't think you heard me. Not the United States, not the Western Hemisphere. The largest airline in the entire world. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Again, this did not happen overnight. This took a lot of studying, a lot of no's to get that yes, honey. Okay? So, I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. I think I might do one more video on tips and tricks how to get your CJO. This is what I wore. This is my hair. I literally just left a few, like, an hour ago. This is fresh off the, the plantation. I'm gonna get up and show you my outfit so you guys can see it. If you guys need like some suggestions on what to wear. A lot of people like to get cute, but we don't do that over here. So. This is the outfit. Bam. Oh. This is the outfit. This thing is right here. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.